Hey, how we doing? It's Ben from EQL Networks and Security. Today we're going to be comparing two of Hikvision's cameras against each other. And this time we're going to be comparing the AccuSense LiveGuard with the ColorView Gen 2. So the part numbers of each camera are going to be listed here. Now, let's get right into this. So both cameras are mostly made out of metal with an IP67 rating. They both have a built-in 30 meter IR illuminator and also capable of recording footage internally via micro SD card, which is I think is up to 256 gig. Now, the great thing about this, you're able to record directly to the camera instead of the NVR. So both of these models are available in a 2.8 mil, 4 mil and 6 mil version. Now, let's compare some specs. So the AccuSense has a 1.3 inch sensor with a wide dynamic range of 120 decibels and an aperture of 1.4. The ColorView model has a 1.8 inch sensor with a wide dynamic range of 130 decibels and an aperture of 1.0. So let's go have a look at how some Dory specs compare. So according to the specs, the AccuSense camera is able to detect at 60 meters, observe at uh, 23, recognize at 12, and identify at 6. The color view, on the other hand, can detect at 58, observe at 53, recognize at 11, and identify at 2. Now, before we compare the performance of these cameras, if you're new to this channel and like what you see here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Any other questions or comments, don't be afraid to hit us up in that comment section below. So enough of this talking, let's go compare and see how these cameras perform in both day and night. So first up, we'll just have a look at the four megapixel color view. Uh, and what you can see here is that, you know, it's a very good picture. Uh, it's quite sharp, very crisp, very clean. Uh, colors are very true. Next, we'll jump into the four megapixel, uh, the AccuSense. Uh, once again, you know, everything's crisp, it's clear, uh, and colors are very true. Now, when we compare them side by side, uh, you actually see that the AccuSense has got just a slightly bit narrower, narrower, narrower field of view uh, compared to say the color view. Um, but when you look at them both together, uh, the actually very crisp and clear uh, images here. So just trying to see if there's any real differences between the two. The AccuSense kind of looks like it's a little bit sharper compared to the color view, uh, but overall they're both very good pictures. Now what we'll do is we'll do a bit of a walk test uh, as I'm walking along here. And if I freeze it there, um, in both pictures and both cameras clearly make out, um, you know, colors and even you know can make out some facial features at that particular distance. Now on this next pass, I'll actually walk up to probably about four meters to the camera. And if we freeze it there, uh, you can actually see the difference between the two. Uh, very good picture between both, clearly make out facial features. Uh, you would make out the letterings on the jumper. On the color view, you could probably notice that the black is probably a little bit blacker, uh, but apart from that, uh, the, you know, it's a great image. Next, what we'll do is we'll zoom into the left here. Um, clearly see the number plates on both, uh, make out letters and numbers uh, on, on both cameras here. What we'll do is we'll zoom into the middle. Uh, and once again, the four megapixel probably is that little bit sharper, a um, bit more definition between the letters. Uh, but overall, you know, you can still make out on both um, what they are. And we'll zoom in on the right. Same thing again, you know, not crystal clear sharp uh, lettering, uh, but that's what you get from a four megapixel. But overall, you can clearly identify what the letters are. And then we'll just zoom into the tree line here. Um, pretty much identical. You're not really going to see uh, anything apart from, you know, just observing that something is happening. Now what we'll do is we'll jump into the color view. So this is the color view camera with its white light on. Um, and from this, you can see the white lights actually reflecting off the number plates. Uh, but you can still clearly see colors, uh, definition, uh, in some aspects around places, but overall it's a really nice image. Now we'll jump into the AccuSense and you can see here that, you know, even though it's not in color, it's a little bit brighter, um, but overall you can 
you can see what's happening in that picture. What we'll do is we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. So the one on the left is the color view with the white light on versus the AccuSense with just its normal IR illumination. You see the difference between the two here is with the AccuSense, you got a little bit more detail towards the back of the picture. Um, you know, whereas the, the color view, it's a little bit blacked out. You can't really see much and what's going on. Uh, in both pictures, both of the number plates have been blocked out or been reflected upon. And we'll do a walk test here. A little bit of motion blur on both, um, but in both pictures, you can't see or identify any features apart from the color view. In this case, you can at least make out colors. Uh, next, we'll do a close up walk test. And then when we freeze it there, uh, you can actually see that with the color view, um, you actually see the lettering on the jumper now and clearly see it's black and blue. Whereas in the, the AccuSense, even though the picture may be a little bit sharper in detail, um, you can't make out any identifying features. Uh, zoom into the number plates. Uh, once again, I said before, you can't really see anything apart from colors here because um, both in these instances, the, the light's being reflected upon. Now, this one's a little bit of a different story. So when we zoom into the back, you can actually start to make out letters now compared to the AccuSense. You can also see that AccuSense is a little bit more grainy uh, compared to the color view. And then we'll go to the right. Uh, this particular case, you can't see anything apart from colors once again. Start to make out some lettering, um, but it's not enough to identify the letters. And then we'll zoom into the tree line. And once again, you're not going to really see anything at that particular distance. Now, this is where it gets interesting. So this is with the color view um, with the white light turned off and it's totally changed the image of the picture. Like it's, everything's just brought to life. Everything's standing out now uh, compared to with the white light on. And you can see here, you can start to see the lettering on the number plate. Now with the AccuSense, which we've seen before, exactly the same picture, uh, but we'll just move into comparing the two. And then you can see the difference between the two here. Um, color view, you can clearly see the lettering. You can even see the background. You can see colors. You can see everything that's happening in that picture uh, compared to the black and white image. Um, do a walk test here. So in both cases, like you're still getting that motion blur. Uh, it's actually improved a little bit on the black and white uh, AccuSense, but overall in the color view, you still make out colors, no identifying features. Next point, we'll do a close up walk test. Let me freeze it there. You can see can't really make out anything once again, but you can just make out the lettering, make clearly make out colors uh, and some form of facial features in this, in this aspect. We'll zoom into the number plates now. Now in this particular case, now we're starting to see and identify lettering on number plates, um, which is really cool. But also on top of that, you get an added uh, benefit of having color and identifying colors. We'll zoom into the middle here. Now, funny enough, in this case, the numbering uh, is not as good compared to when the white light was on. Uh, and in this case, you can't really make out any letters uh, compared previously in both images. And we'll zoom over to the right. This makes a world of difference here as well. Now we can clearly see lettering and identify letters uh, compared to the AccuSense where you just don't get that benefit. Now, what's my thoughts on these cameras? Both of these cameras perform as you would expect during the day. You know, the performance was relatively the same for both cameras and they both provided, you know, crisp, clear images with, you know, true color definition. The only real difference was the AccuSense and it had a slightly narrow field of view and it was slightly sharper. But to be honest, just really clutching at straws here. When it comes to nighttime performance, there's clearly a difference between the two as they've both been engineered for different uses and different case scenarios. You know, the AccuSense is only capable of IR during the night, whereas the color view can do color in 24 seven. Now it was evident during the testing that the IR and AccuSense, you know, it washed out those plates and vehicles. 
And the same could be said with the color view uh, when that white LED was, was on as well. And the only real difference you could see between the two was that the color view was at least been able to identify color. But on the other hand, the AccuSense would be able to have a bit more definition towards the, the background. So if both of these cameras, you know, maybe we could see the number plates if the camera was positioned differently, because in this case it was, you know, head on. Now, if you have that white light LED on, the objects in the background, like I said before, are a little bit harder to define, say, compared to the AccuSense. The biggest difference came when you actually switched that white light off and allowed the ambient light to take over. You know, the color view performed like beautifully. Now, you can see what is happening in the background, plus you get to identify colors, so you're getting the both of best worlds. Now, which camera do you think is better to use? You know, let us know. Put it in the comment section below and let us know in, in your opinion as what you prefer. But I guess what I'm trying to get at, in my opinion, as I previously said in other videos, you know, it's best to deploy these cameras together to get the best of both worlds. So on that note, that's it for this video. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Any other questions or comments, don't be afraid to hit us up below. At EQL, we're always here to help and support you.